Hi everybody, I'm Robin DeRosa and I'm here to talk to you about our second topic in Intro to Pedagogy, which is about approaches to pedagogy, um, critical, caring, and clusters. Yes, I'm working from home today. Hello, Big Toe. Great. Um, so the first part of that is about critical questions. And I wanna just start by explaining that when we say critical, we don't mean criticizing um, in the sense of being negative. We mean critical in the sense of asking questions. Um, this is really important for Design Forward because we position ourselves in some ways against the idea um, that there is a set of rules or standards that you could learn to make you a good teacher. Um, we think the answer to the question of what makes a good teacher is often, it depends. Um, it depends on your content, on your students, on your institution, on what's going on in the world. It depends on you. Um, so what we focus on in Design Forward is not so much getting your course to meet a set of best practices, but instead getting you uh, comfortable with the idea that you have designed your course intentionally for the context that it sits in. So we're working here on your aptitude as an instructor rather than the quality of your course per se. And we think that making you a, a person who can ask and answer your own questions about course design is what's gonna really carry you to success through all the different kinds of courses that you have to teach over your career, um, especially when higher ed is in flux, when things change and you will now be ready to change with them. So in that sense, we are a critical approach to pedagogy um, because we want you asking questions more than we plan to answer questions for you. Uh, the second part of our approach is about care. Um, care is a tricky word right now. Sometimes it can be very devalued or undervalued in higher education. Higher ed um, is moving towards an efficiency model. We understand that for sure, no matter where we teach. Um, but sometimes uh, because care is, is often inefficient, it depends on relationships between humans, which naturally take time to develop. Um, care can also depend on trust, which takes time to develop. So because there are human relationships at the core of care and because human relationships do not conform to an efficiency model, um, we can be in a, in, a, in a moment where care is seen as a distraction to the project of delivering content in higher education. Design Forward is um, intentionally resisting that but in addition to resisting, we really want to explore what is the value of care. If we invest time and energy in caring, what will we get out in terms of the outcomes in our classes and with our students? So we will be focusing on care um, and intentionally placing um, humanity at the core of the Design Forward um, project. And then looking particularly at the kinds of practices that really center humanity and human humanness um, in our course designs. And then finally, we're gonna be talking about clusters. Um, here at Plymouth State, cluster learning is one of the key institutional ways um, that we align curriculum and pedagogy for our students. So the idea here is not that you do cluster learning, you know, all the time, every second in every context, um, but that if cluster learning is, as faculty have, have generally agreed, um, a useful set of approaches to teaching and learning, then we believe that it will be more effective if we all row in the same direction on that. So one person having a really innovative, inventive, fabulous idea for pedagogy is great, and we encourage you all to do that and, and go off. Um, on your own, in, into your own pedagogies. Um, but at, at certain points, we also all wanna sort of get in the same crew boat and row with the oars in the same direction. Um, the idea there is that our students will get an added benefit, um, not just from the quality of the instruction 
that is involved with cluster learning, but also in the fact that they are getting this not just in a particular course, but reinforced across multiple courses and through their gen ed programs and their majors. Um, so this is really about institutional alignment and the idea that if our institutions are working for and with us as opposed to against us or um, uh, separate from us, that we are going to be more supported in our teaching and that our students are going to feel more a part of a learning community. So uh, in this section of Design Forward, we will be exploring um, how to take a critical approach to designing our courses, how to infuse care into what we do, and how to think about our institution's approach to cluster learning um, as part of what we do as um, educators in our own classes. Thanks.